It took a year after he dropped the album and a year after the murder for the album to go one time platinum. What up, y'all stands? We back with another one. Listen, today we got Nipsey Hustle. We're going to take a look at his catalog. Remember, he got that walk of fame. Salute to him. But was it too soon? That's what the talk is. And then the whole wasn't a legend before he passed musically. We're going to take a look at what he did accomplish musically. And y'all be the judge. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to it. Because they gave him a star before Chris Brown, which doesn't make any sense. Nigga, that's what I'm trying to tell you. This is why it I'm makes a little this. sense though. It do make a little sense though. I ain't gonna say he didn't need a star. I'm not. No, nah, he it was too early for a star. No, nah, that's way it's too early, bro. Way Even with his, I could have seen uh, like the movie coming out or something, and then you know, shortly after the movie, uh, the movie premiere, the day of the movie release, I could have seen that. Right, but, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how she's Chris well, Brown. Well, I thought crazy. that's what was going to happen. Wack, remember, I was telling you, I was like, hey, Wack, is it a play that you're doing right now to, like, you know, slow down on the release of that song and then you're going to release it a week later? That's what I thought you was doing with the shit. We didn't fight him on it. I mean, listen. You chilling with the answer. He did that because that was his homeboy. When I went to do the paperwork, he said, hey, give all royalties, all publishing to the kids i said you know it's a sample in there we gotta pay for it. we ain't gonna recoup that he said nah i eat it this nigga over here <laughs> stick over here crazy it's emotional it's like all right how would the game feel about it when it didn't come out he done with it he won't reach that way don't come a time bro where niggas gotta reach to help be a voice Time will come. And, you know. Especially Nipsey speaking on how game like helped him as far as in like the cold part of it is just though. I don't see no other artist give a fuck about taking his songs and making them, taking his verses and making them a, a, a song. I don't see him doing it. I was just about to say that. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't see it. Black Sam too emotional, man. That's a good word too. Very selfish. Wait, was wait Nip, was Nipsey independent? Cause like did his nah, Atlantic, Atlantic, no. Atlantic, Atlantic. Can Atlantic put out music without Black Sam? Like no, nah, they got a sign. That's they, they the label sign. I was online with Atlantic. They was they wasn't tripping. You chilling with the answer. At all. But wait, let me ask this. Was Nipsey like one of their top selling artists? No. So Hell, man, that's no. why they really don't Nigga, you fuck. talking about NBA young boy for nigga Cardi B. Cardi boy? Yeah, right. <laughs> nah, but you know when niggas pass, they record sales start going through the roof. Bro, exactly. I, listen to me, bro. I went over this. This is why I was saying a lot of these niggas is super cap. Now Nipsey was alive one year after his album, The Marathon, dropped, right? He's alive. Album did 50,000 copies. A year later, he gets murdered. Now, we watched the whole frenzy, the overnight Nipsey cult kick off. It took a year after he dropped the album and a year after the murder for the album to go one time platinum nah cap nah, i want y'all to look cash. at the frenzy bro look at the frenzy the world was in if that was a representation of real nipsey fans that nigga should have been remember he's alive a year he sell fifty thousand. then he alive a year he gets dead killed and it took a year after the death date for the album to go platinum. You chilling with the answer? Yeah, and that was so line that up to, with that the frenzy of the see. world that's saying Nipsey, Nipsey, Nipsey. Somebody ain't doing something. You think Not the that. numbers being played with, or you think that's a real reflection? Nah, them niggas was capping. I was all bandwagon. Them niggas, what man? That man, these niggas are right here on this stage right now. 
did not listen to Nipsey until Nipsey got killed and they started seeing all the media. I ain't listened to him till that Jay Z chapter <laughs> when he was selling them albums for like, I think he was selling his albums for $100. That's when I started getting on his. But, and they um, said Jay Z came and brought. Some yeah, that's when he hit my radar down here. And he for a thousand dollars, I think. Hey, real quick, let's take a look at Nipsey's discography. We're also going to go to the RIAA website, and for those that's not familiar, that's where they register platinum and gold albums as well as singles. It's the Recording Industry Association of America. You can just Google it. What we see here in total is a lot of gold. There's 11 gold records. Uh, about eight of them have features. They're all singles. And then um, he also has two platinums in the bunch as well. All of them were certified after his passing in March of 19. Um, we have nine of them that went to their certification level in November of 2019 and a few in early 2020 and then one just recently um, in January of this year with YG. So I mean you be the judge so like we said it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven gold two platinum all singles no album all certifications after um the date of his passing so just wanted to give you all a quick rundown on that and we'll get back to it appreciate you tuning in yeah, I think each one was a hundred dollars. It was a hundred dollars for the CD, I believe. Yeah, that's when he hit my yeah. radar. So like, and then like, we ain't really listen oh, to the music. I'm glad he yeah, hit the radar then, right? Now. Yup. When you seen that happen, right? What happened after that? Game came and grabbed him and then put him on tour. And okay. But then what happened after that? Him and YG linked up. And then, okay, what happened after that? Somebody got to tell me about a hit or two or something. What happened after that? I'm still Dr. waiting. Dr. CB. You see what I'm saying? Hey, but like, look, whack. he was kind of like the Kevin Gates kind of nigga. Like, you know, his interviews. No, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. He's Gates. not listening. Yeah. No, his interviews were superseding his, his music. Chilling with the answer. Hey, I ain't going to lie. I don't know. Not a, a, near not a Nipsey on. Hustle interview. Niggas only know, like, one Nipsey song. Man, well, no, I, I've been listening to Nipsey Hussle since he came out, but Jay I'm on the West Coast, hits, so that's different. It's out it's out y'all niggas can't listen to Nipsey Hussle in the West. Like, I'm in the only East. song I ever heard by him was that Double Up one. Yeah, like, look, I'm on the East. Nah, niggas nah, don't, listen, get, listen, nah, niggas nah, don't fuck with Nipsey, right? His music. Like, I can't tell you one Nipsey song. I'm going to just be a honey with you. The whole thing is his move, like how he moved and the entrepreneurship that he was pushing. Like, that's why I use the case. With that either, because y'all didn't know nothing about that until after they started talking about that. After he died, that's a nah, no no way. No way. No way. No way. Oh, y'all niggas were rolling in the um Crenshaw Sloss and Bottom. Mm -hmm. But look, uh, Wack, no, Wack, Wack. Wack. Hold moved on, with his family. Hold on, no, let me tell Wack though. He was buying his real it was the hundred. Like, uh, it was the hundred dollar uh, CD. Yeah. Wack kind of got a nigga on that right off. That listen, I'm glad you said that. Who's that talking? This Brock OG. This Brock OG. Rondo. Nah, Brock OG. Brock. Brock. I'm glad you said that. This is what I want you to do, Brock, or somebody on the team. Go pull up what year he sold that CD. Watch me shut Brock ass down. 2013? Uh-oh. 2013. Uh-oh, and he died when? 2019. Brock, 2019. what we talking about, bro? What, so you talking about? Nah, what I was just saying that. Years? I was saying, when you were saying, like, uh, we didn't know about, like, how he was doing his business, that was the oh. first thing that kind of got bro, me on the Okay, on, on the this is what I'm saying. Bro, the nigga he, had a Drake feature, and it didn't, when Drake was hot, and it really didn't do what it was supposed that to. That, too. Do. Yep, that one, too. I forgot about that one. Come on, That's now. True. He had the Drake feature. He had the Drake the stimulus package. He definitely did, and the Wayne feature, I think. And the Wayne feature. And he had the game. I ain't disagreeing with you, Wack. Like, but, but I'm, I'm agreeing with you, Wack, on real. Like, like, like. Like, like, uh, bro, because I'm, I'm a Kevin Gates fan. I'm trying to, like, stand in the hole she was saying. She's kind of trying to say, like, Kevin Gates was, like, the superstar of the underground. Well, he just wasn't I underground. I thought she was saying his philanthropy, like, his his interviews and his words. And stuff. Nah, because Gates, Gates can be. 
he just don't let himself be that. You know, Gates be on some super real. You like, you know, he can be that if he wanted to, but. Um, but yeah, Gates got fans. Gates, Gates doing, but listen, Gates go do tours though. Like, you know what I'm saying? He go tours. Do y'all think uh, V12 with the right, like with that Rowdy Rich song would be as big as it was if it, if Nipsey didn't pass? It what? Like that rock, the song he had with Rowdy Rich, like I that mean, racks, the racks in the middle. In the middle. Yeah, yeah, would that song be as big as it would have went? If I mean, it contributed it to it, but it was a great song. We can't take it away from being a great song. Yeah, Rowdy could do his thing without anybody. That nigga. Do what about thing. the Shoe Broke track? Because look, that look, was look, 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 it was that was the best. Look, y'all in the West Coast, y'all really got to understand. Y'all got a biased opinion on y'all music. A lot of niggas, like, I'm from the East, and I live in the South. A lot y'all of niggas, niggas y'all not streaming this. Yeah, we is not streaming no West Coast. Y'all artists. know like, y'all not. Kelly, like, now, if you talking about rowdy. I ain't gonna lie, we yeah. listening to Mozzie down here. Yeah. No, nah, Mozzie. Y'all be listening to Frost of the Snowman. Yeah, listen yeah. to Mozzie. Like, Mozzie, we don't even listen to him. We listen to Mozzie in Houston, bro. He really, he getting run, fool, for you real. Said Houston. Nah, I mean, I used to listen to Mozzie. Yeah, but I ain't gonna act like I'm a Mozzie. Yeah, name, name. Three With Nipsey, Hussie, he's not down. I ain't gonna lie, he's not getting the run that like Rod Wave and these new niggas getting down. So like, niggas wasn't really with nip like that and if he wouldn't have passed away nobody would really care right now Just and that's true honest. but i think people did like his character when it was brung to light and people spoke up for him it's everybody Dude, where smoke is fire everybody's though. not gonna yeah. say his his entrepreneurship. well there it is I will say, though, I'm on the East Coast, too. Y'all heard the East Coast perspective, West Coast perspective, where they're way more familiar. On the East Coast, we knew who he was. Um, I'm just speaking from my experience. And uh, wasn't familiar with the music. But um, after, you know, his untimely demise, grinding all my life. And last time I checked, it's two of my favorites. They're in my playlist, so salute to him. Just to answer your man, Dell, we signing out. Appreciate the support. Like, comment, subscribe.